we're going to start adding the background to our sphere. This is the reference picture I will be referring to throughout the video. Firstly, we need to draw in the shadow. I'm loosely doing this with my pencil. I'm using really light pencil first and drawing in the shadow from the reference photograph. Then going to take my eraser and just erase out the different sections that I don't need. I'm using the different tones of orange for this section. It matches the orange of the ball that I've already completed. I'm going to start with the darkest tones as the sphere has extremely dark tones. So I'm using the tones and the colours that I can see in the tone section of my tonal gradient. For the beginning of this, I need to use three different blues and one shade of purple. I'm using all of these tones first as they come first on my tonal gradient. When I've finished using these to make the deep colour, I'm then going to apply my three orange colours on top, so from the hue colour. The deep tones are complete, so now it's time to go over with my hue colours, my three orange colours. This end of the shadow is slightly lighter in colour and so I'm going to go for my second last tone colours to do in this part of the shadow. I'm going to start with the lighter purple colour and going to then use some blues and then build up with some oranges on top. Looking at my shadow now, there's one area here, particularly the area just under the ball that looks too light, according to my reference photo. And so I'm going to go back in with another layer of the darkest tones. Next up is the floor. I'm going to colour this in in purple. 
I'm gathering up all the purples from my tonal scale. Firstly, I'm going to start using my two purples and I'm going to cover the entire floor in this one tone of purple. So using my hue colours, the entire floor is going to be coloured in in these colours. Once I've finished with the layers of my hue colours, it's now time to go in with some deeper tones. I can see in the bottom left corner of the sphere from the reference photo that it is a little bit darker. I'm going to use some of these darker blues to make a darker tone of purple. I'm again making sure I'm looking at my tonal gradient so I know which colours to use. There are also some other areas around the floor that look slightly darker um, in the reference photo and so I'm going to add these darker tones into these areas also. Afterwards I'm covering them over with a layer of my two hue colours. Next is my background. I'm going to do it in, in a blue colour. So I'm taking my blue tonal scale and I'm looking at all the different blues and the blues that I'm going to need. I'm starting with my hue colours and I'm going to blend in my hue colours all around the background of the sphere. I'm particularly focusing on the area that's quite dark behind the sphere. It's mainly on the left side. I'm going to build up these colours and I'm going to stop maybe halfway over onto the right side 
and build up these colours nice and dark first before finishing off the other side. I want this area to be darker and so I'm taking one of the darker purples from the tonal gradient in the darkest tone and blending this onto top of the two hue colours. I'm using circular motions and I'm following the shape of the sphere. Next, I'm going to use this deep green colour like the tonal gradient has told me. And I'm going to use this to make this blue even darker, just in the area that I can see behind the sphere, like the reference photo shows me. Next, I'm going to layer my two hue colours over the top of these tones to make this blue really stand out. I'm now on to the right side and as you can see in the photograph it shows that it should be much lighter on this side. I'm using my white first and looking at the tints of blue on my tonal gradient. I'm then going with my two hue colours over the top of the white and over the rest of the area. I need to make this light tone and the darker tone blend in together. And that's it. I've now got my sphere with my background and my floor.